What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of one of The Last Wars for 2.0. Uh, this one, actually, I'm going to do a bit of a combined recap, uh, and here's sort of the reasoning why. Just since the update with the overhauled, quote-unquote, matchmaking system, uh, we definitely have not been very getting very good matches. Uh, you know, the, just awful mismatches, way worse than before. Um not sure exactly it seems to me almost like the way they've compensated now for any clans that you're matching that have more town hall 11s if that clan also has some town hall eights somehow that balances the matchmaking so like you'll see in one of these we were against like they had like five or six more town hall 11s but they had like five or six town hall eights and just just very strange crummy matchmaking anyhow so this first one was against this uh, level 10 korean clan 105 to 87 was the victory differential there uh and you know these guys use 80 of 80 attacks they, they gave it their best uh it just just again the mismatch it mismatches overall um do not seem to be uh have gotten any better in fact i think they've gotten worse since the update uh hopefully there's some tweaking to be done here because uh, i've also just from going through twitter and stuff like that seeing a lot of other clans uh, <laughs> facing the exact same thing very 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 crummy lopsided matches but as you can see this one was closely uh we had three 11s they had four uh they did have a few extra town hall 10s i think we only had um how many do we have six i think would be a one two three four five sorry five uh tens three elevens to their four elevens and ten tens uh so kind of just weirdly matched up there and then on top of it down here i guess this is where they balance it i believe both of these like let's just take a look at a few of these bottom bases so town hall eight obviously kind of weird uh we didn't have any town hall eights Another Town Hall 8, <clears throat> and then there's this one, a Town Hall 10 with 10 defenses, but only, like, I don't know, I mean, I guess this guy has a Town Hall 10 army, it does have all four army camps upgraded, a lab upgraded, um, does have a king and queen as well at 15 and 10, uh, very interesting to say the least. So, and then we start getting into the Town Hall 9s, and fairly low hero levels. One thing I was thinking of, I really think they need to put more weight on hero levels. Um, because a lot of times I find hero levels kind of dictate whether a base is rushed or not. Um, you know, if you have a max Town Hall 9 with a level 5 queen, you, the base is rushed. And... Um, if if the matchmaking was a little more i mean I, again maybe it's too early for me to even be thinking about this i was just trying to trying to figure out how how in these algorithms could they really differentiate some of the bases and really what it comes down to. and personally i think it comes down to hero levels i mean if unless you're within uh, you know five five or ten total hero levels uh from another base you, you shouldn't be matched and um I don't know. Maybe that's just too crazy to think. Maybe that wouldn't work at all. Um, I'm sure some of you guys are going to point out probably why that doesn't work. Um, but I just feel that they don't have any weight at all. And when you have a, a max Town Hall 9 with 30, 30 heroes and you get matched up against something like this, like that just doesn't make sense. I don't understand how that is. Because if you look at their 35, let's look at our 35. Sorry, whoever random number 35 is. Hopefully it's me. I'm around 35. No, I'm 29. Oh, sorry, click cock. Anyhow, let's look at our 35. <laughs> you know, lava walls in there, level 23, 22 heroes. Some Town Hall 8 defenses left to go for click clock there, but um, definitely nowhere near their number 35. So, um, you know, I know things get skewed once once the, you know, they, they obviously had a lot more Town Hall 10, so things are skewed a bit in the numbers, but. I don't know. I don't know how they can do it, but it's definitely uh, whatever they did did not work and uh, needs some serious tweaking. So we'll just leave it there. So like I said, I got a bit of an extended recap because I'm going to go through two wars that are very similar like this. It's very odd kind of crummy mismatches, um, but some really nice attacks to be had instead. And we're just going to fly through them and uh, call it a day. So we're going to start a lot of those bottom bases weren't even really worth looking at. But uh, once we get up around here, they're actually pretty decent bases. It's kind of a uh, 
very symmetrical for me. So I, I, again, not a great, but I just overall the fences I'm talking about, hero levels, right? They start even out 20, 23 heroes with lava walls, right? So that, that these are the kind of bases you'd expect to see more of because we have so many of them, but uh, somehow they balance the matching elsewhere by giving them a bunch more Town Hall 11s and then Town Hall 8s. Like, again, I just, I don't understand how it works. So I guess that's part of my issue. Um, because at least my understanding of how it should work, it's not happening, right? Because <laughs> from what what I gather, they should be matching war weights, and there's no way. I'm sorry, there's no way the war weights match. Uh, maybe they do under this new system, but it's just blah blah blah. blah. Sick and tired of these uh, really crummy wars because uh, you just can't get hyped about them, right? You don't get excited about them. Chat's fairly quiet, you know, not a lot of sketches going around, and just. I don't know, not not what we enjoy in Clash of Clans. <clears throat> but as you can see, Chad's kill squad was not successful. This is why I want to show this attack. We're going to pause right here because his kill squad is completely dead now. Uh, you're, there's no way you can't tell me Chad did not want to get that third air defense. So this is a great example of one of those plans that did not go to plan, but Chad just sticks true to the plan and comes away with a three star. So uh, nice and patient, one hound, two loons. Two loons, very, very specific on those loon placements. Wants all three of those defenses to go down at the very similar times. Everything then will converge in onto this air defense. He does have a rage he's about to drop. There it goes. I'm going to push everything in. Uh, that expo is set to ground, so that kind of helps this attack out a little bit as well. Those hounds are going to survive that much longer. So just needs to get them over that expo. Boom, another rage goes down. Just going to push everything through that compartment there onto that uh, second air or third air defense. Sorry. And then it's kind of the last hound bursts. And if you kind of still stick true to the plan, sometimes you're going to have just enough balloons. And those balloons are just going to get over to that air defense, get a perfect split, drop a bomb, and have a couple remaining. And your plan is right back on track. Pups everywhere, all around the base. No problems for Chad here. Boom, boom. That is three in the bag. For Chad. Nice job, buddy. One more up. Logic Beats. Very nice tack here. Um, this actually was one of the better uh, design bases. Um, not symmetrical, right? Uh, has sort of an offset queen chamber. She is still centralized, however. Um, it has sort of the idea, right? All those high hit point structures in there trying to protect her. But uh, when she ends up hopping out into this compartment, these high hit point structures do absolutely nothing. So um, you can see the entry here going nice and clean. Wizards all around creating a huge, huge funnel there. He's got six Valkyries about to send in. Opens up that wall. Golems route in. <clears throat> there goes that queen. <clears throat> king and Valks are about to be deployed. And here they come. There goes the king. Valkyrie's in behind. The hound does come out, but I think a big piece of this, see how far the, back this queen is? She doesn't lock onto the hound, or she does lock onto the hound, but stops attacking in here for some reason. Because um, it is chasing the king right now. And I swear she stops attacking this hound for a moment and locks on. Yeah, there she goes. Just for some reason, I've never seen that. The queen stops chasing the hound and just goes back onto a building. Thought that was very, very interesting. Um... So, and her DPS just tearing through the buildings make, uh, helps make a big difference here. A uh, couple hogs going in from 12 o'clock. I'm going to start clearing out this compartment. He does have a heal and a poison that I don't think he ever ends up using. Daddy? Oh, hello there. Daddy, what a noise. What noise? What a noise, Mommy and Daddy. I don't know. We have to go ask Mommy. <clears throat> Sorry about that, but uh, moving forward, all these hogs are in, right? Didn't even use the heal, didn't even use the poison. Um, that See this hound still over there, right? Uh, the queen never pops it, and now there's only hogs left. Nothing is other than these wizards on the outside uh, are a threat to popping that hound. Uh, and it's stuck on that goal might pretty much for the rest of the raid. So it just worked out perfectly. Um, you know, the queen ended up able to take down buildings instead of standing there on the hound and pops forever. Hogs are in. They took no damage whatsoever, and the hound never bursts, right? So beautiful, beautiful attack logic. Swag that shit up in the middle. There we go. Tree in the bag for LB. 2.0's LB. That is Logic Beats. Um, moving up a couple here. Ooh, S17 had a very nice attack. 
All right, close my doors again here. Or my daughter just burst in to say hi. Um, so, uh, brings a stone goho here. That's what I liked about this with earthquakes. Um, really nice earthquakes. Going to open up a big, big chunk of this base. Down they go, right over top that expo. Going to open up this town hall apartment right into that, uh, where that queen is, right? Um, and as well, oh no, he didn't get that corner. For some reason, I thought that he got that corner and got access to that part of the base, but it doesn't matter. Still has 22 hogs in here, right? This is a good old-fashioned stone goho. King in behind the golems. Out comes that CC, has no poison for it, but drops a Rage, gets that Queen in the Rage, which is super, super important. Two Wizards in there making short work of that Dragon under that Rage. Bam, ba bam Defensive King is about to go down as well. See you later. <clears throat> so sends a few Hogs into this top compartment. Queen steps up to help out. Rips through this compartment with literally, I think, three hogs uh, and the queen. Queen walks down now, going to take out that air defense, step up and help this kill squad finish off this core. Hogs are now in with that giant doing some tanking up there. Taking down the cannon, has 14 more he's going to sprinkle in on this side. Drops a heal spell, keep them going under that wizard tower without any, um, any worry of damage whatsoever. <clears throat> Still has nine more hogs to deploy, keep in mind. Down goes the Tesla, down goes the air defense. Everything's going to converge on this little section right here where that next heal spell goes down. <clears throat> Drops the rest of the hogs on that wizard tower, pushes through the expo, through the Tesla, has one more cannon and a mortar to go. Queen is in there helping out, do some cleanup as well. <clears throat> nice. Attack S17. Look at all the hogs. I don't even know if he lost like any hogs there. Maybe just spring traps. That was about it. Beautiful. It's tree in the bag. All right. Got a couple Town Hall 10 trips to show you here. Good old extra salty McBee. Uh, really like this one. Does a little bit of this like queen walk uh, from this 6 o'clock section. Is going to walk up. Um, charge in with the kill squad. End up getting the queen and the second air defense. Uh, really, really sexy attack here. Um, so we're going to times two this because it takes just a little bit of time here. Uh, Zapquake goes down to take care of that Inferno Tower near the Queen. Does a little damage to the Queen too in the process. Uh, his Queen took out the air defense. Is going to continue the walk along. <clears throat> drops the Hogs to get the lure out. Uh, has no poison, so just drops a Rage. Drops a Wizard to help out. Always, always a good idea when there's a Hound there, right? Just help rip through that Hound as soon as you can. Got to lock onto that Loon. You can't take too many Loon shots on your Queen. Down goes the Balloon, especially when you don't have a Poison, right? That Balloon's just dropping. Every drop is a danger to your Queen. <clears throat> Down go the Pups, and Queen's going to continue on her way here. He's about to drop a Golem. There goes that Golem. Going to open up this wall, finish off the funnel with a couple Wizards. Opens up the wall, like I said. Wall breakers are clean. King is going to go right in behind here. <clears throat> there goes his kinger. Jump spell is going to open all of this stuff up. Queen is now going to join up on top of it. Healers are in there for a little bit more time. <clears throat> Down goes everything. Queen's going to finish off the air defense. King is going to finish off that defensive queen. They're even going to get the expo in the process. And I believe a couple of these Teslas does have to use the king ability here. Boom, boom, boom. Rage it up, rage it up, rage it up. There it goes. Takes down both Teslas and in comes the air attack. So how number one and two in on the three o'clock air defense. Few balloons going all around. Immediate cleanup wizard on the bottom. I like that. Hay spell over top that inferno just so everything will get over as quickly as possible. Down goes that other inferno tower. That is the key to this raid. See you later inferno. And he has a um, big pack of loons with one more hound to tank there. <clears throat> this, these apartments don't stand a chance. This wizard tower is a bit of concern, but that queen is right up in there helping those balloons. Like just perfect, perfect timing and arm everything. Ray uh, uses the queen ability take down that wizard tower. Has almost a full um, a full health hound there. Does eat a bomb to the face, but doesn't quite burst. It's tree in the bag for salty. Nice job, man. Sexy, sexy. Uh, all right, and endless. <clears throat> So five healers here for Endless. Thought that was kind of interesting. 
does a really cool uh, queen walk again from six o'clock here. The idea is to get, it, it's a bit of a charge. So here goes that zap quake again, these max zaps with a quake taking out that level, uh, I think that's a level two Inferno Tower. I don't know if that's a level three. I don't think you could take out a level three. Um, but taking out that Inferno Tower is key because now what he can do is drop those immediate wall breakers, let this queen charge into this compartment, has no worry of the Inferno Tower, is gonna freely get that air defense, freely get the defensive queen, which by the way, almost got taken out completely by the zap quake. <laughs> I thought that was really cool, like a sliver of health on that defensive queen. Um, so raid spell is gonna go down right in here. He's gonna get really good value, take out uh, the queen, the air defense, the expo, everything. And then he's gonna open up this compartment once that whiz tower and arch tower lock on, open up this compartment so the queen can then walk in and around, take out that next air defense. Just a beautiful read on this base, I thought. So down goes the expo, so has to take care of a couple of those storages. Going to continue her way along here. So like I said, as soon as that whiz tower, arch tower locked on, drops those wall breakers, opens up that next compartment. She's going to continue to make her way around here. Down goes the arch tower and lab and all this stuff. In goes that king, help do a little bit of tanking. Not a lot of purpose for this king here. He's really just going to walk around, do a little tanking and... Um, a little bit of cleanup. Uh, loons go in immediately though on that arch tower that is locked onto that king. So really good job with that. Actually gets a little value out of that king because uh, was able to drop those balloons early and now protected that king perfectly to continue on on the outside, do some cleanup, protecting that queen. Hounds are in on that top air defense. Freeze goes down over top of that. Just misses the, uh, I guess he got the sweeper there as well, but just misses that expo with that unfortunately. But it doesn't matter. Hastes are in, pushing everything in there. Just has to work the balloons right in on top of that uh, inferno tower. Gets them there just in time and down it goes. Has a bunch of balloons that are, the Teslas are going to be no match for. Down goes Tesla 1. Down goes Tesla 2. This base is GG for sure. There's puffs everywhere. Queen takes out that hound. Finishes things off and continues beating on a wall. <laughs> oh yes. That is tree in the bag for endless. Nice hit, buddy. So, yeah, not the craziest of wars. Um... But uh, good effort overall by Korea Love. Uh, Alexei in 80-80 attacks, even though it's not a close war, that really shows some resilience in, in your clan. So nice job there, uh, Korea Love. Uh, an amazing job, 2.0. Uh, so we're going to hop in and check out the next war here. Um, but you can see, like, I think about the update was about somewhere back here. And we haven't had... All of the wars have not been very good. Um definitely definitely more mismatched than they ever were uh before they changed the matchmaking so hopefully supercell realizes this and changes things up <clears throat> so um for now i mean it is what it is uh as you can see this one they, they only use 47 of 80 <clears throat> wasn't very good effort on their side but i mean i don't know if i would give an effort if i was on their side either they had the three it was three three on the town hall 11s um they had few extra Town Hall 10s. I forget where we're at. So 10. Yeah, so they had a few extra Town Hall 10s. <laughs> but then again, like, the bottom is just not, I mean, even close. Like, Town Hall 8s. Town Hall 8s. Town Hall 9, but, you know, nowhere near any of our Town Hall 9s. Like, nowhere near any of our Town Hall 9s. Like, no one in our clan is even close to that point right now <clears throat> right so even still like like i said i just feel they need to somehow incorporate hero levels into the war making because a lot of the times that's what it really comes down to like this base would be close to our lower like our bottom town hall nines if the hero levels were another five even like if these were 15 15 heroes 16 16 heroes it would be a reasonable matchup right but um it's still you can tell i mean a guy with 10 10 heroes is going to struggle against our bases so anyhow like i said is what it is for now hopefully supercell is working like a thousand monkeys on a thousand typewriters trying to figure this issue out because i haven't even looked at the forums i barely ever look at the forums but i can only imagine the things going around right now <laughs> anyhow let's finish things up here real quick uh what was i going to start with a couple up only a few on this war kickbacks good old kb i like this one uh very creative uh very uh, standard shattered Goho or uh, shattered Lalo, sorry, um, pulls that uh, hound out right away, which is 
uh, really good. What I liked here was drops his poison here in a uh, fairly early fashion, but gets the queen and starts poison down. Or maybe I'm wrong. I swear to God, he drops a poison right here. Poison. Maybe he drops it for the pups. My bad. But but good placement on it because he ends up getting the queen. That queen is just rocketing off on that. Uh, on that golem so drops that second golem in drops that poison down slows down that queen gets his king in there to lock onto that queen as soon as everything's kind of mopping up those pups his king is untouched rage goes down queen is going to step up and get a little bit of value out of that as well in one sec there she is goes in right opens things up going to get this air defense and this air defense this whole bottom section of base uh and then their job is complete jump spell goes down to let that king across king's just going to continue to walk through this stuff takes down that town hall queen takes down the air defense in comes the air attack how number one goes in nice and slow a few balloons on each of these defenses on this compartment going to converge all on this archer tower drops a haste spell here there it goes going to push everything into that air defense the third air defense there second hound is in already got one more hound he's going to drop on this back end there it goes a few more balloons on each of these defenses two there and he's got two more i believe he's going to drop Maybe not here because he's got just enough coming through. Uh, does have a few straight of this weird kind of Tesla farm in the uh, fake neutral zone there. But no big deal. Has just enough to get over the expo under that rage. Takes things out. Everything's going to push over to that last remaining air defense. Still has that hound there unburst. <clears throat> and it gets out front. I believe it does burst. No, the Tesla's locked onto the loons. It has no chance of, to burst, but it doesn't need it, right? Still has his, uh, a couple wizards on the outside, bunch of pups on the other side. No big deal. Bum, bum, bum. It's tree in the bag for kickbacks. Nice job, buddy. And we got one more, or two more, two more. Miss Kim Hui Tan, good old tiger going in. Uh, this was a decently set up base, you know, 2021 heroes. Uh, so not an easy task by any means. Max nine uh, with some lava walls scattered throughout there. So uh, definitely not an easy task here for Tiger. Drops this uh, queen walk. Uh, from this six o'clock and clear out all this trash end up stepping up here taking out a big big chunk I think he charges this queen into the base Or he's just using it to lure the hound out. Sorry. There's a lot of attacks. I went through <clears throat> So she takes this little jaunt over to that gold storage I think he wanted her to go to the right and he she goes to the left if I had to guess he wanted her to continue her uh, Continue up this way, but uh, she doesn't do so ends up joining up with the kill squad cold blood of golem gets let in there Seven valkyries are gonna go in behind with this king now uh, Funnel has been created. No problems king is in smacks down the queen lava hound is about to uh, sorry Valks are gonna go in queen locks onto that lava hound Going to get left behind here, but no big deal because she's still got those healers on her. Uh, going to take care of the Hound and all the pups. Now all the Valks are all completely far enough away from those pups that it's not going to make a difference. Queen's going to mop that up with that Wizard helping out. Wizard on the outside cleaning up. <clears throat> all his hogs now go in basically from the 12 to 3 section. Just going to work everything down and through here. Has a heal he's going to drop down, I believe, over top this expo. There it is. Take care of all those hogs. Moving in, down goes the Tesla, has a lot of air stuff to take care of, and then another Tesla and Arch Tower on the back there. No big deal for him. Just enough hogs to get the job done here. Poison goes down, King gets in there, but the Valks takes out that defensive King. Queen finally catches up after taking care of that Lava Hound, help with the cleanup. And that is Tree in the bag for Tiger. Nice job, buddy. All right. And... We'll finish things off with a Town Hall 10 trip. That was a bully from Oki. Um, you know, one of those uh, 11 versus 10 bullies. Still a nice hit, but uh, not a lot we're gonna, of knowledge we're going to gain from that. Uh, but we will from Dirty Italians hit here. This was a very sexy, sexy uh, new Max Valk uh, with uh, Govaho 3-star here. Um, that is a very, very viable strat now against uh, Town Hall 10s. Um, I think other than the cannons, this is a... And air defense, sorry, my bad. Uh, looks like mortars are good. Yeah, a lot of Town Hall defense, uh, Town Hall 10 defenses in there. Um, so no, nothing to scoff at. This is definitely a very viable strat. You just have to take care of certain objectives like DI does here. So this Queen Walk is just going to start pushing everything down. Takes out a big chunk of this base. Pulls out the clan castle. Poison goes down to take care of those balloons. 
going to heal up as queen with those raised healers. No problem. They're gonna, she's going to step up, one-shot those balloons. Takes care of this compartment now. And here comes a bunch of giants. So the idea with the giants is they're going to soak up the multi-hits. As soon as that dragon comes out, drop the giants. Queen's going to take care of that stuff under the poison, no big deal. Uh, has a bit of a wall break fail there. Um, all the Valks do get ahead of the, uh, oh, sorry, it's a single target Inferno, crazy. Um, so that that's where the giants come in. Uh, some You can use giants against both, right? Sometimes you use them just so they'll soak up the multi-hits for a minute while the Valkyries get on top of the Inferno Tower. And if they're single target Infernos, well, <laughs> they're only going to kill one at a time. So a bunch of Valkyries and a bunch of Giants is the way to go for sure, like DI does. Uh, heal spell goes down. It's kind of helping keep those Valks up that are not getting hit by the Inferno Tower, which is a really good idea. Hogs are now in, going to start pinching everything off from the outside. Queen is still in there working on that Town Hall with all her healers intact, or at least most of them. Uh, so she has no problems whatsoever. King hasn't even used the ability yet. Needs to use it up once he gets over to this Inferno Tower. <clears throat> there it goes. Valks start doing some damage to the Inferno Tower. Are just about to take it down. King gets in there to finish off the job. Just has these few defenses to go. And this base is done for. Cleanup Wiz at the top. Beautiful. A few hogs left even. Very sexy attack, DI. Town Hall 10 Gobaho. It's tree in the bag. Beautiful. All right. So... Two and one stone here. I like it. Um, saves me a little bit of time, you know, and sort of some of these less interesting wars. Really hope Supercell is doing something about the matchmaking because it seems to be very, very crazy. Um, I don't know if they just kind of say their overhaul in the matchmaking and then release it and let us test it and then hopefully fix it later because that's what it seems like because any sort of internal testing, I don't understand how they could have been okay with, uh, with how it's been. Uh, maybe it's not... Uh, maybe it is just a few select clans that are going through this but from what i can tell on twitter uh it's not uh, a lot of people getting extreme crazy even worse than what i've just shown you here in fact let's look at the war we're in right now this one is so bad so look at the top so we got three town hall 11s we got six town hall 10s they have eight town hall 11s four town hall 10s and it's like well i guess they got it a fifth sort of quote unquote town hall 10 there um sort of a quote unquote town hall 10 there but those are not town hall 10s holy geez we got like five town hall eights in there and we got these bases look at these bases like how how do we match this how of course because wiser spun so base number 40 interesting oh, excuse me let's look at base number 39 Okay, interesting. <clears throat> There's a bunch of Town Hall 8s. bunch of Town Hall 8s. So many Town Hall 8s. How did we match? It's almost like I had said. It's almost like they... They balance the fact that these guys have like 5 more Town Hall 11s with the fact that... They have like five more Town Hall 8s, but that doesn't, that's not a match. Like that's not a balance. That's, there's no way, like that's just stupid. I don't know. <clears throat> Anyhow, let's keep rolling through a few of these. There's <laughs> some real interesting ones. Some normal-ish Town Hall 9s, new Town Hall 9s in there. Right, but none of these even remotely close to matching. Um... I swear one of them had no walls again here. I think it was number 21, actually. Let's keep going. So, f I mean, even still, only 10, 12 heroes, but at least these bases are starting to actually have upgrades to them. Um, but just, again, Supercell. Like, look at this. Look at this. How is it? How can you even be a war like this? It doesn't even make sense to me. <laughs> like, wow! I don't understand. Thousand monkeys working on a thousand typewriters. It was the best of times. It was the blurst of times. The blurst of times. Stupid monkey. Anyhow, hopefully it's getting fixed. This will be another not interesting war. Uh, anyhow, is what it is for now, but that'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star. Until then, I'm out.